So this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising. Career and business tarot reading, December weekly tarot reading, December 23rd to December 29th, a 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, guys, I want to tell you that if you do want to uh, get in touch with me for a personal reading, you can check the description down below where you're going to find a link to my website. And also in this description, you're going to find a link to your love and relationship tarot reading as well. Now, that being said, let's jump into the spread straight away. Now, the first card, which represents the topic for your career uh, and business uh, throughout this week, that is going to be the judgment, followed by the next one, which stands for the energies feeding the topic. And right now, we do have a pretty big week for you, Libras, with those two cards. Now, this one is going to be the devil, the energies feeding the topic. Now, the other card, it is a, about the challenges that you need to overcome, and that is going to be the Hierophant. It gets even more serious here, followed by the other one, which stands for the Gift. Oh my God, I mean, look at that. We do have a four majors. Um, gifts and the Blessings, that is going to be the Handman. Uh, afterwards, it is how other people see you, uh, your co-workers, your boss, your supervisor, uh, people that you are working with uh, in general, that is going to be the Page of Cups. Followed by the other one here, which uh, represents uh, the uh, what you can do in order to... That is the other office. What, um, what is going to help your goals, and that is going to be the King of Wands. Then we do have what can hurt your long-term goals here. That is the Two of Swords. And uh, the last one, it's about the... Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, the guidance that Tara is offering to you regarding business and career for this week. That is going to be the Ten of Wands. Oh my God. It's... Um, well, that is going to be a, a big, big week for your a future career development. So let's start with the topic and the energies feeding it. Uh, the devil and the judgment. First of all, the topic here really speaks that a, a major event is going to take place a business wise and an event that you maybe you have not waited for, but it is definitely the event that uh, it's going to propel you forward. Because the judgment, it is a about it is a about the the call, the, the the right thing happening. I don't know how to say it, the revival, if you will, the union where the uh, shaft falls into the hub, everything falls together. This is how I'm gonna say it. Energies which are feeding it, it is the devil, and that speaks for the yearnings of yourself and for your own personal tenacity, for your own capability to force the circumstances in a such a way to alter outcomes and to alter situations in general. So what I can tell you from those couple of cards, it is that this week, your hardship, your work, uh, your um, tenacious drive, you know, your slogs finally produce results. And those results are going to be results you would like and you would like so much that I can't even express press to you uh, because the judgment at the end of the day gets you almost that closer to manifesting you know your dream it's, it's really your business dream so this is why the week it is so important guys that you don't miss the call of the universe you don't miss these circumstances which are making everything to fall together Okay, that could be um, just to give you an example here. Let's say uh, say you wanted to become a, a lawyer, but you couldn't find a open place up until this moment, and you know you never gave up, and you were tenacious about it. You uh, tried and tried and did what you could, uh, and fulfilled all of the uh, how can I say it? You you have fulfilled all of the expectations, and finally. The job is opened uh, for you. Now, the other card here points to the challenges uh, that you need to overcome, and that is the uh, Hierophant card. Now, it's very um, understandable that one can get intoxicated with so much power that is going to be given to you career-wise, 
throughout uh, this particular uh, week. Uh, it's basically you're gonna have the things you yearn for, uh, or at least these things are gonna be promised to you. And um, you can feel yourself almighty, that you can cut corners, that you can play surreptitious, you know, that you can uh, simply, you know, some things does not apply to you. And if that's your stance, uh, you're gonna quickly learn the other way around. Now the um, Hierophant here points that the hierarchy nonetheless is gonna be in place and you need to know your place at least uh, for that very moment. That being said, you have to um, kind of fulfill the expectations of your boss, of your supervisor, instead of thinking that you are untouchable as you kind of reach the su such heights career uh, career and business-wise at that particular moment. Additionally to that, it's gonna be difficult for you to, uh, or challenging to fulfill your chores for one or another reason. I, I do suspect that the primary reason here is gonna be knowing that these chores are not gonna bring you the yields that you that you are expecting or the, that you could have done doing a different stuff. But nonetheless, those chores are yours to take. And with the Hierophant, you don't do the job because you are doing it for money or for dividends. You do the job because to uh, show yourself reliable. That is the challenge from the uh, Hierophant, okay? Because this is how it is supposed to be. And uh, yeah, when someone asks you, can you do something instead of saying, yeah, sure, how much you are paying for it, you can say, yeah, sure. And uh, after you're done with it, um, I can assure you that uh, the price is gonna be more than you have expected. Because um, your job with the Hierophant needs to be your diagnosis and not your mean, okay? Um, you have to work your job for the sake of working it. The money are gonna find you on their own accord. Now, the other card, it is the gifts and the blessings, and that is the gift and the blessing from the uh, hangman. And as a gift and blessing, the hangman here points that, first of all, you do have uh, a solid and stable foundation. So you should not be afraid for your position at your job. And additionally to that, the hangman here points that many um, Trifling problems are gonna start resolving on their own accord as soon as you start ignoring them, okay? It's just your attention to those uh, trifling problems, it is what feeding them, and right now it's time for you to just turn your glance toward more productive uh, enterprises. And finally, the hangman here points that this uh, opening is gonna offer you a new perspective of things at all. I mean, it's going to exceed your expectations, that being said, okay? Uh, the other card here, uh, it is how other people sees you, how your boss sees you, how your supervisor sees you, how your colleague sees you, and that is the page of uh, cups. So they see you as a uh, a person who is willing, who knows, or yeah, who is willing to learn from its mistake. That is the biggest positive thing from the page of cups and that you are a person who can perform equally well regardless of how they put you or where they put you at, what kind of a project they assign you to as well. And also they are seeing you as a person who is always counting on the future. What it means, it is that you prefer to work for the future rather than to work for the past, okay? You always try to anticipate two steps ahead, which is a quite a valuable um, quality these days, career and business-wise. Now, what can help your long-term goal? We do have the, the King of Wands, and that is a person who is pretty much going to help you transform your ideas into a very, very powerful actions, okay? So that could be the business partner you are waiting for, or as well, it could be your boss helping you to develop your own thing as well, or to manifesting generally your business idea or your career idea also. What I'm trying to say here is that um, a person who sees potential in you comes to your aid. That helps your long-term career goals. The other card, it is a, about uh, what is going to uh, hurt your long-term career goals, and that is the two of swords, hesitance, uh, 
clinging upon a, a, an equilibrium, unwillingness to move anywhere, indecisiveness. Those are the things. Now, with the Two of Swords, it is very um, common to people when they have to make a an a, a important decision to store as much as they can until the right answer become obvious to them. That is not your game here, guys. I mean, as soon as you seize an opportunity, you have to take it. And as we saw here, that is going to be a big opportunity with the judgment. I mean, it's going to be uh, your opening. Take it that way. You wobble. Up until now, you are wobbling from that career place to the other, from this career path to the other, and now the right path is open to you. That, that is what the judgment is all about. And that is going to be thanks to your a uh, personal presence and, to, uh, and thanks to your personal um, tenacity and power as well. And you don't want to miss it at all. You don't want to miss making a decision to start walking down that road. And the last one, it is the guidance. That is going to be the Ten of Wands. So as we talked about that you need to start walking down that true road of yours of a uh, career development, that road has its certain rules. It has its certain, uh, mm, yeah, it has its certain stipulations. And there is no way around them. So once again, uh, this comes into the guidance as well. You do not cut any corners. You play the game or you play... Um, you deal with the things you have to deal with, the tasks, enterprises and endeavors career-wise, the way the company, the business or whatever you're performing at established up until now, okay? Uh, you do not dictate the rules. Someone, someone or something else does. And everybody who plays by the rules is going to be rewarded at the end. Everybody who doesn't, well, they simply have to go, okay? So that's that. Uh, the way I see it, it is that if certain um, aspects of your job you don't like, well, you can't change them. You can only change them by leaving your job, for example, okay? But if you want to be successful in the job where you are right now, which is given to you, you have to play by the rules. So that being said, and do not overstep, that is also very important with the Hierophant as a challenge. You have to deliver something to the owner of the company. You go uh, through the supervisor, through the CEO, and so on and so forth until you reach the final step of the ladder. So yeah, that being said, guys, this was your a weekly career and business tarot reading, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you do want to get in touch with me for a private reading or you want to check on your love and relationship tarot reading for the very same week, you can check the description down below of this video and there you're going to find both links for my uh, website where you can schedule a reading or the link for the other video of the week. And uh, that being said, I hope we're going to see each other around and until then, bye.